sometimes you got code that you want to wait until it runs. And this is how you do this with a thing called set timeout. So I can do something like this. I could say set timeout, um, and then I'm gonna say what I want to run. So I could do something like, uh, we're gonna run a thing called newsletter, a function called newsletter. Okay, and we don't put the, the parentheses there. And then you put in how long you want it to wait. So I could say 3000 milliseconds, or that's three seconds right there. And then I can create it. I could say function newsletter. And then I could say something like a confirm, just a simple example here, sign up for newsletter. So this is stuff that you see on websites where if you're on the website for a while and then something comes up, hey, sign up for our newsletter is a, is a common one. But one that I actually like that I think is helpful is sometimes if you're on a website that's hard to navigate, a little thing will come up and says, hey, do you need some help? Click here to chat with someone. Those are really helpful. And I think that's a good use of a set timeout. But that's what set timeout does is it waits for three seconds and then it runs whatever function you define. So let me run this. Okay, so one, two, three, and then it comes up. Sign up for newsletter, and then I can do whatever I want. But if you just, this is just a really good way to use, um, if you need something to wait before it runs, this is good. Another thing I've seen that's useful is sometimes you have something on the page, and maybe after five seconds you want it to disappear. You could use it for something like that as well. But if I want to keep it all together, I could do something like this. Instead of calling a function, I could just say, okay, set timeout, and then I can just have an anonymous function in here. Okay, so I could do something like here. Let's just get rid of this for now. So we'll do function. Um, I'll throw in this, and then I will close that out. And then I could do the same thing. Um, confirm. Sign up for newsletter. Okay, and now I still need to put in the time, and the time, of course, is in between this parenthesis here. So I'm going to put the, pair, uh, the comma there and put in three. So this is another way you could do it if you don't want to call a separate function and you just want to have it all kind of in one little neat package here. Okay, so let's save that and make sure that works. Okay, one, two, three, and then there we go. That works as well. So you can call an external function or just kind of embed the function in here as an anonymous function. Either one works. But that's set timeout and it is really useful.